Whoa, what's going on over there? Ah! No way! And what's going on over there? Ah! Oh no, this house is haunted! Run, Justin! In this video, we're going to see evil ghosts, cursed monsters, and much more. Do not go into these houses at 3 a.m. We've received a report from a 20-year-old girl named Amber. Amber's uncle recently passed away and she was left one of his properties in his will. Amber has only visited the house she inherited once and quickly left because she saw shadows and heard whispering like there was someone or something already living in there. She sent us this video for proof. What is that? Ew! So tonight we invited Amber to our house to talk and after we're going to head out to this house and stay the night. Let's get started. Okay guys, so this video will be linked down below. This is a crazy real life documentary about, so basically they got an email from this girl named Amber. She just got a house from her uncle, but it looks like somebody's already living in the house from that creepy phone footage which we put on screen right now, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, so it's about 10.30 right now. Amber's supposed to get here at 11, so we have about 30 minutes to wait. Dude, I'm kind of scared about spending a night in that house. Let's just wait to see what she has to say about it, okay? Okay. Here comes Amber. You hear that? Yes, sir. She's knocking. All right, let's go. Let's head to the door. All right. Is she opening? Hi, Amber. Nice to meet you, Parker. Yeah, you can come in. Nice to meet you. So, are you ready to sit down and start talking? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's uh, sit down and talk. Dude, she does not look happy to be here. They say, hey, what's up, Amber? She was like, she didn't even say hi. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really trust Amber already. Okay, this way. Okay, Amber, thank you for coming over to talk. Yeah, no problem. So can you tell us more about what happened when you went into that house? So, you know, my uncle left me that house in his will. I got keys for it about a week ago. And last Tuesday, I drove there alone to check out the property. Basically, I went inside and I shut the door behind me. And then I started walking up the stairs. And then what? Then, as I was walking up the stairs, I got this really uncomfortable feeling. Like my body was stiffening. Like there was something upstairs that I wasn't supposed to see. And did you make it all the way upstairs? Well, I tried. I was almost on the second floor before I started hearing the whispers. At first, I thought it was the radiator or something, but it kept getting louder and louder. Like whatever was making those noises wanted me to hear. <laughs> And what did you do after that? I barely remember what happened. Like, my brain shut off. And my body started running down the stairs. I just got back to my car and I started crying. Yo, so she went into her uncle's house, bro. I'll do a reenactment, bro. <laughs> she went in there, bro. She was going up the stairs, bro. But then she got a little bit nervous. Oh, look at the knees. Oh, oh bro. no. And then she heard that sound. <laughs> <laughs> and she scampered off, bro. And I do be doing that too, bro. Honestly. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. She started crying in the car. Do you have any idea what could be happening in that house? I'm not really sure. I just can't go back there alone. Okay, Amber, listen. Uh, this is what we need to do. We need to drive to that house tonight and set up cameras. We gotta try to figure out what was making those noises. Okay. I mean, do you feel comfortable enough to do this? I mean, I'm uncomfortable, but I trust you. Okay, well, uh, if you're ready, we can go head out there right now. Okay. All right, Chess, you ready? Yeah, let's all go. Right, let's go. So they're gonna head to the house. They're going to the house all together. All right, let's see what happens. We begin driving to the house. Dude, I'm really freaking out about that video she took. I really don't know about spending the night there. What about you, Amber? Are you feeling all right? I'm actually having a lot of anxiety right now. I know, just uh, don't worry about it. You're not alone this time, because we're coming with you, okay? Do you think I'm crazy? Uh, no. Let's just keep driving. They don't trust Amber. No. Do you? Nope. You think she's evil? I think she's haunted or cursed. Dude, we're here. This is the place. This is it? Yeah, this is it. 
Bro, this place is really creepy. Look how big it is. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go inside. Okay. <laughs> okay so this is the entrance. Yeah. I'm gonna lock this door and let's uh, let's go inside. Okay. Let's go. Don't. It looks haunted. Oh, it smells. Like it. Okay, Amber. If you just want to find a room to sleep in, Jess and I are gonna set up the cameras in the house. Okay. Okay, come on, let's go. Ah. Oh. We set up cameras around the house. Oh, they're gonna put spy cameras everywhere. So we're gonna set up some cameras in this house. Let's put a camera in the hallway here. Okay, that's good. Then we're gonna go down to the basement, put a camera in there. Oh, this place is creepy. Oh. Let's put the camera right here. That's good, let's go. What was that? The wind? Okay, let's go. Okay, I guess this could be our room, so let's uh, put a camera in here. Okay, we're just gonna put a camera in Amber's room really quickly. <gasps> Hi. Is it okay if uh, we just put a camera in your room for the night? Okay. Okay, yeah, let's uh, put this camera in here. Got it, guys. So they're putting these spy cameras everywhere to catch whoever's in the house in 4K. 4K footage. We're going to watch that security footage very soon, guys. Keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go to sleep now. Just totally relax. Uh, we're going to review the footage from the cameras in the morning, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Dude, I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep in this house. Bro, just relax. I'm here. Amber's here. We just need to relax for tonight and let the cameras do their job, okay? Check the footage in the morning. All right, whatever. All right, good night. Good night. We go to sleep. Okay, guys, something sus is gonna happen. Oh, bruh. Oh, dear. <gasps> hey, yo, what? Why, hey, yo, why is she just sitting there like that? Who does that? That's how Adam sleeps, bro. I would know, we used to have bunk beds. Watch close here, guys. Thought I saw something move. They're sleeping, they're zonked. They're out. She's out. She's zonked. Me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What's that? Entity. Is that an anomaly? Amber. What was that? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You think, you think it's like a ghost? Yeah. Someone's heartbeat. Hey! Oh. Yo! Oh. Ah. What is that? Damn! <laughs> guys, that is so sus, bro. Where's Ghosty, man? My friend, Ghosty. We'll find Ghosty, Where's guys. Ghosty, bro? I gotta ask our friend Ghosty. Is that a ghost? Ghosty? No, I don't think so. That's not a ghost, man. That's like a. It's like a creepy person living in the house, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why well, ain't got no shoes on? Who is that? What they say? Uh, something about a blast? I didn't see it. Dude, this is literally, they were singing, that's the song Adam sings before he toots, man. What? He says, no, the I blast don't. is coming. And he, and he cap, walks, cap, cap, and he cap, walks cap. like that, bro. Cap, cap, he cap, does, cap, He didn't do it, bro. Adam does this, bro. Let's rewind that, bro. What did they say, bro? literally what Adam sings, bro. He goes, the blast is coming. Everybody hide. I hey, yo, is this Adam? We caught you in 4K, Adam. No. Yeah, bro. I'm getting spooked, bro. She's going down the stairs. Are they gonna wake right, up? guys, so it's about 6.30 in the morning right now. We just woke up. Dude, I did not sleep well at all. All right, well, are you ready to go check out the footage from the cameras with Amber? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go check this out. 
Hi. Emma, are you ready to uh, review the footage from last night? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go sit down. Okay. Okay, so we have the footage from the cameras from last night here. Let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like not much is happening in our room, or your room, or the hallway. No, wait! Check on the area where the noises were coming from. Okay, hold on. Wait, dude, what's that? Oh my god. What is that person doing? Okay, uh, Chester, how about we go upstairs and try to see what's going on in that area, dude? Let's go. And we're gonna wait here, okay? Okay. Dude, where did this girl come from? Dude, all the windows in here are locked. There's nowhere she could have came from. Oh, come here, look at this. What is what, it? What is this thing here? Huh? It's a bookcase. Yeah, but bro, it's blocking the doorway. What? The door, the bookcase is blocking the doorway. Let's move this bookcase. What do you mean? Dude, look. Secret! <laughs> There's a door here. Why would somebody block a door? Is that like a bedroom? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this, this is where the girl came from. Uh, What's going on? Oh, yeah. Dude, what kind of room is this? Oh, oh, what is that? What is that, EXE? That's like something you get at a hospital. You got yeah. EXE going straight in there, bruh. Straight in the vein. Yo, what is this thing, bro? It's like a metal chest. I don't, I don't get it. Do you think this is the room where that girl could have came from? Dude, what is that? Is it? It's like, this is an IV, dude. What's this liquid in here? It looks kind of fresh. Bro, it's, it's like dripping. What? Oh, I think this is where she came from. There's a window in here. All right, let's just make sure we put a camera in this room tonight too, okay? All right. All right, let's go. Okay. What? Okay, so we're gonna leave the house after night one. Uh, I figure let's come back here tonight again and try to figure out what's going on in this place. I feel a little bit strange after watching that footage from last night, but let's just pick up in like 12 hours or so. Does that sound good? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, all right, Amber, let's go. Where's Amber? We go home for the day. Oh, so they left, okay. Then head back for a second night. Oh, what? Okay guys, so uh, we're driving to the house right now for night two. Uh, after what we saw from the footage from the first night, we really want to figure out what's going on in that house. Dude, I'm still freaked out about that girl. <laughs> Stop, you scared me! <laughs> I don't get scared. <laughs> All right, so we just got to the house. Are uh, you guys ready to go back in? Wait, can we please not go back in? I really don't like this. What's wrong? I just, I don't like the idea that someone could be in there watching me. Okay, well, we'll just go in there for tonight, and if you really don't want to stay, you don't have to, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go inside. We set up cameras and get ready for bed. What? Okay, look, Amber, you were right. There definitely is someone staying in this house, but I think that they know that we're here now, so we actually might have scared them off. No. Nope. Yeah, I think it could have been like a homeless girl or someone staying here because they thought it was abandoned. You don't think that girl had anything to do with my uncle, right? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. What do you mean? Well, what did you say your uncle's job was again? Never mind. Let's just go to sleep. What? What is she saying? That girl might have something to do with her uncle? And they're also gonna leave her alone again in Wait, the room? No, well, why are they sleeping there? I don't understand why they need to do that. Why can't they just let the cameras go? Maybe they think that the entity girl won't appear unless they're there? Right, like they're all bait, bro. Yep, all of them. Okay, uh, we'll review the footage tomorrow morning. Good night. Dude, why was she acting weird up there? You think she's not telling us something? Dude, I just think she might be a little bit freaked out after that break-in last night. You think that girl is what she was originally afraid of? I don't know, dude. Something just feels off about this whole house. Uh, did you lock our door? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's just go to sleep. He said, I think so. He's not even sure. Night, night two. two. Ghosty's got a belly ache. Oh, no way they sleep again, though. I'm getting scared. Don't be scared, Ghosty. Why? Why wouldn't they just stay up? Because they're tired. <laughs> okay. Well, then it's past their bedtime. They don't have to sleep in the haunted room, though. Shh. That's a secret room. Oh, secret okay. door. It's 4 a.m. 4.04, the summoning hour. Oh! oh, oh. Ew, oh, oh. Okay, wait, they came out of a different door. Oh, they got no shoes on. 
I can hear someone's heartbeat. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Wait, the box opened. What? Oh, was she hiding in the box? Mm-hmm. What? Why is she in the basement? Hey, yo. What is she doing in there? Uh. What? What is she doing? What is that, like a map? What was that? Something on the ground. Huh? She wrote something. Does this say help me? It says help me! It says help me! Oh! So she wants help. The winks. What? Oh, what? Oh, 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 my God. <gasps> so that girl was actually like not evil. She had someone haunting her. Are you okay? I'm go. I'm going in the shock. Hold on, Justin. Ew. Amber. Bruh. 5.02 a.m. Wake up, guys. All right, guys, so it's about five in the morning. I just woke up. Something in this house does not feel right to me. So I'm gonna wake up Chester and uh, get Amber so we can check on this footage. Chester. Amber's gone. Chester, can you put on your sunglasses? I'm filming. Yo, I just woke up. Something doesn't feel right about this house, dude. Can you go wake up Amber? I'm gonna go set up the footage on the computers, okay? Okay. Go wake her up, please. Here, here's the camera. She's gone. Your door's stuck. Uh, uh. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get up. We gotta review the footage. That's not her. Amber. Okay, whatever. Who is it then? <sighs> Where's Amber? Dude, she was like acting weird. She didn't want to come down. Okay, whatever. Let's just look at this footage. All right, nothing, nothing. Uh oh. Nothing. Dude, look, it's the same girl, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Look, she's going somewhere. Where's she going? <laughs> Hold on. Huh? She's she's doing something. Is she writing? Yeah, I think she's writing something. Do you think she notices the camera? Dude, the girl's asking for help. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Why does she need help? Cause! This girl's in danger. She's the one breaking in here. Dude, we need to go check on Amber. Wait, 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 wait. There's something in the back. What is that? Bro, what is that thing? What the f is that, dude? Bro, we gotta check on where this thing came from. Dude, I don't like this. You think it's still here? I, I don't know. Let's go check on it. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's find this thing, bro. Start down here. Bro, some knocked on our camera. What? What's down here? Dude, did you hear that? Is that Amber? Bro, let's go upstairs. Come on. Okay, Come on. let's go. Let's go What's that? Huh? Amber screaming. Huh? Amber. Bro, where is she? Dude, I swear she was just in here. Yo, she's over here. She's over here. Come on. Wait. Okay. Amber. Amber, what's going on? Why are you in here? You gotta believe me. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Go, go! Oh! Whoa, oh! oh! he's right there! Wow! Dude, hurry! 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 Dude, go! Go! What was that? We drove back to our house with Amber. Maybe that was the uncle, bro. Oh, and then who was the girl? Maybe I the don't sister? Know. I don't know. She refused to tell us who her uncle was and has since blocked our numbers. What? The end. Wow. <laughs> so for this episode, 
We received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53 year old mother who believes there is something horribly wrong with her son. Candace says her son doesn't talk to her anymore and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent us this video for proof. Tommy. Ew. I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? Oh! Now, guys, this is crazy. This video will be linked down below. This is like a documentarian video film about a real story, guys. That person cannot stop growing, and they're pulling their own hair out? Ew! So that's Tommy. That's her son, guys. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, guys, the mom's name is Candace. <laughs> So tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. So what do you think is going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? So these guys must be like scientists, bro. They're gonna go over and help with like their video cameras. They're gonna help see what's going on with this woman's son, guys. Now, he, yeah, he might be just hitting the growth spurt. Adam drank a lot of milk. He's hitting the growth spurt, bro. He's got like four more feet to grow, man. That's true. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, fine. Man, this is intense, man. Guys, this is a real, real life video. They're driving, they're driving for a while. This is all real. Your Wait, right here, right here. Right. This is it, bro. Okay, I'll pull over. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, let's uh, knock on her door. Okay, they're at the house of the mom and the son. Candace. Hey, yo. This is really creepy. Is anyone home? It's opening. It's her. Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you email us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight. Okay. Oh my goodness, bro. Why does she look like that, bro? She's just like peeking out, bro. <laughs> Maybe it's because they just pulled up on her with the camera like this vlogging. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is anyone home, dude? <laughs> I caught him in 4K, bro. I don't know. Candace looks a little bit sus. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust Candace, but let's keep watching. It's just. <laughs> uh, we can come in, right? <laughs> Dude, it seems like she didn't know we were coming. Bro, she's probably going through a lot. True. Candace, is your son home right now? He's resting. Resting? Uh, okay, uh, let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Come on, let's sit down and talk. Okay, Candace, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can you give us more details about what's going on with your son? My son, it's my fault. I should have done something sooner. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He, he just doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is, you know, a good thing. But when did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Michael was your husband? Oh, that's really sad. So guys, they're saying, when did all this happen with your son? She says after her husband, who's the boy's dad, passed away. So the dad passed away, and now the son is acting strange. But I just realized, why do they have, like, plastic wrap on the walls? What is that? I feel like it's because her son, Tommy, keeps trying to scratch at the walls and try to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah, guys. Oh, that gave me the shiver. <laughs> Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police. But eventually, one night, he came back into his room through his window. The window? Why didn't he come through the front door? I don't know. He just completely shut down. 
And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not my Tommy anymore. Wow, so guys, there's the backstory. So the son ran out of the house in a window, went into the forest. That's a big hint for three days. Came back and now he's like cursed and wearing a mask. Could he have gotten cursed in the forest at 3 a.m.? But why would he not be able to stop growing? Maybe he got cursed by like a like an evil wizard in the forest. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> it is possible. Now he wears a mask, guys. Let's see what happens in this video. It's gonna get crazy. Well, you mentioned that his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? No, this isn't grieving. It's physical too. What do you mean by that? It's as though his bones... They don't fit into his skin anymore. I love my son. He's my whole world, but this isn't my Tommy. Okay, Candace, uh, is it okay if Chester and I uh, go talk to Tommy now? Uh, yeah, but he's been pulling out his hair lately. Okay, that's fine. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. Okay, where's uh, his room? Yeah, it's upstairs on the left. Okay, alright, come on. Guys, this is creepy. Okay, let's go talk to Tommy. Are you ready? Yeah. Tommy? Uh, I'm gonna open the door. Why is there a lock on the door on the outside? Hi. Tommy? Hey, yo! Is that Tommy? And look, he has barely any hair left because he's been pulling it out. Oh, guys, this is really creepy. What's going on? Uh, my name is Parker. I'm friends with your mom. Um, She invited me here to talk to you to make sure you're okay. Oh, no! What is he doing, bro? What is he holding? Is that like an iPhone or a blade? No, I think it's a comb. He's like combing oh. his hair. Oh, okay, got it. Oh. What? Are you feeling all right? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. Tommy? Do you think you could turn around so we could talk face to face? What are those sounds? I'm not watching this, bro. I'm not he turned his head like an owl, like all the way around. Foxy can't even do that, bro. Yeah, he like broke his neck. And look at his face, guys. It's like, I think he's wearing a mask, but even still, his eyes look so creepy. That is terrifying, guys. This is nuts. What happened to Tommy? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We should go. We gotta go now. Hey, yo. Okay, Tommy. Uh... If you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. Yo, he's tall! Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on, go over here. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I, I don't know, I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up cameras. So why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. Okay. Oh, they're gonna put spy cameras everywhere. Oh, smart. smart. Come on. Okay, put a camera up here. They're putting spy surveillance cameras so they can see what he does at night. Okay, come on. Okay, so Tommy just went to the bathroom. Let's go put a camera in his room. What? They're putting camera in his room. Oh, dude. It smells so bad in here. Okay, I gotta hide this. Thing. Oh, what is that? What is What's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Dude, don't don't mess with that. <laughs> oh, 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 hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Wow. Hey yo, hey yo. That got me. Alright, bro. That, all right, bro. That got us, bro. My hey, heart. Hey yo. The meat was alive. Yo, is he eating like a little, like an animal? I don't know what that was, guys. Can we watch that again? Bro! Hey, what's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Ew! Dude, don't, don't mess with that. <gasps> Dude, what's the problem? Dude, just moved! Huh? The meat just moved, bro! What are you talking about? Let's just go. I set the camera. Okay. Ew! Okay, 
Okay, let's put Cameron and Candace's room. Mm. Whose room is that? The mom? Hi, uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? Okay, that's the mom's room. Cool. Put, put, a, put a camera there. Why? Okay, that's good. Okay, Candace, so uh, we set up cameras all over your house, and we put one in Tommy's room, too. I'm not sure he's gonna like that. Oh, uh, why? Um, well, he doesn't know that we put one in there. At least, I hope not. I just don't want to make him angry. I just want my old Tommy back. Man, I, I I do really feel bad for her, man. She just wants Tommy back. She just wants to be Tommy's mommy. Wow. Yeah, I feel bad for Candace, too. Okay, Candace, Chester and I are going to do our best, but uh, we need to see how your son acts at night first. Candace, listen. It's all right, okay? Chester and I are going to do the best we can. We just need to watch the footage from these cameras so we know what's going on with them, okay? We'll all watch the footage together in the morning. Okay. Chester and I are going to be sleeping in your guest room tonight. Okay. Okay. You ready? Let's go to sleep. Okay. Okay. Good night. Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Did you see the way that he looked at us? Dude, I know it was creepy, but we really don't know what he might be going through. I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. <sighs> okay. Wow, so they're gonna call it a night and they're gonna look at the cameras the next morning. Now, guys, that is crazy because the camera's gonna catch Tommy and he is the boy who cannot stop growing, bro. If we put a camera in Adam's room, he's the boy who cannot stop growing. And harder. by the way, guys, <laughs> I feel like Tommy is actually gonna do some really, really sus stuff at night, <laughs> at especially 3 a.m. Adam is the boy who cannot stop. Maybe to his own Cannot mom. stop farting. Maybe to his own mom. <laughs> That's not true. At night, bro. That's not Yo! True. <laughs> They're sleeping. They go to sleep. What's Tommy gonna do? Oh, bro. Oh. Okay, it's it's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Everyone's asleep. That's way past our bedtime. That's the mom's room. There's there's her sleeping. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Can we see Tommy's room? Yo, yeah. he's still awake. Hey. Oh nah. Oh, he's kind of kind of swinging a little bit. Kind of vibing. Okay. Okay, it's almost 1 a.m., guys. It's um... Hey yo. What is that? Ah. Is he growing? What is he doing? No way. <laughs> oh! 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 Wow! Well, that's why he was making those sounds. He's growing and he literally, you guys see that his arms just got longer. We're gonna put it on screen and loop it. His arms and legs got longer. Look at how long he is. He's probably like 10 feet tall. That guy's almost as tall as my best friend ate him. But you're even taller than yes, me. Yes, sir, guys. This is insane footage, guys. This will be linked down below. This is nuts. Everyone's still asleep. What is that? What does that sound? It's like, like a, th a thud. Is he up? <gasps> what? He's that tall. Hey, yo, Adam does a dance like that sometimes at night. <laughs> dude, that's crazy, dude. What is that? Oh, he's eating the meat. Ew. Gross. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. He's so tall. Those are his arms. I thought those were his legs. Hey, yo. Oh my goodness. No, turn this off. See, no, the camera's there. Can you see the camera? I think he saw the camera. Oh. Everyone's asleep. Everyone's just passed out. It's 2.30 a.m. It's 2.28 a.m. It's almost 3 a.m. <gasps> those are his arms. I thought those were, those were his feet. Oh my goodness. He's so tall. <gasps> He's going to his mom's room. Guys, this footage is so cursed. Ew. What is he gonna do? It, maybe, hey, yo. maybe, maybe he's gonna give her a hug. Hey yo. What huh? Is what, hey yo, what is huh? <gasps> <gasps> What am I looking at, bro? So it looks like that's his tongue. He put it into his mom's neck and maybe he's like 
taking out her life, like her soul. Dude, I, that actually makes sense. What if he's taking out like her bones and he's adding it to his? That's why he keeps growing. Oh, he's absorbing the energy from his own mom. Maybe he did that to his dad. And that's why the dad oofed. I didn't even think about that. This is insane. Ew. Hey, yo, stop this. Stop it. What? That's what he was doing. Did that again? Yo, wait. He left. <laughs> he left the room and the mom's eyes are still like. <laughs> Listen, you do that dance again. Okay. That's crazy, bro. Lanky box is crazy. It's crazy. And it's 3 a.m. Let's, let's see what happens. And there he is. Oh, ew. He sees the camera. Ew. Yo. So guys, I actually got the shivers. Okay, it's 7 a.m. the next day. They're gonna look at the cameras. Okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke up. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know. Maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? I'll go set up the footage so we can watch it. All right, I'll go wake up. Okay. Bro. Candace, it's time to wake up. Wakey, wakey. Oh, Eggs and bakey. What is that? Oh, oh. no! Wait, that's what like that? oof or like some EXE and it's coming from her neck. It's the same color as the meat. Oh, remember in the corner of the room? So that's where Tommy's tongue injected her and drained her of her like bones and stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm scared. What are you doing? I'm scared. Well, I am too. You think you're Tommy? That's the dance <laughs> Tommy was doing. We'll put it on screen. You're doing that? Yo. <laughs> Yo. You are so bad. What is going on, man? This is so scary. Hello? Hello? Candace. Are Are you okay? <laughs> no, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's it's morning. Oh, she can't get up. She has no energy. Oh, oh my god. My legs tie. Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude! Candace, look, what, what's wrong? Her legs aren't working. Candace, and Candace, are you there's okay? There's something wrong with her, dude. There's this black mark on her back. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's let's get you up, okay? Bro, she lost a lot of energy, bro. Wow. So I think the son Tommy came in there and extracted something from her, and that's why she lost all of her energy. That would make a lot of sense, yeah. And she's gonna get weaker and weaker the longer she keeps Tommy in her house. Okay. Bro, what's wrong with her? Oh, she can't even walk now. She's too weak. Okay, so let's look at this footage from last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very active at night. I can see that. Oh my god! He's coming into my room! <laughs> oh my god! What's he doing to you? I don't know. What's wrong with my son? Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine! I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no, no. But Candace. See, they won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. No, he rests at this time. Yo, we gotta talk now, bro. Okay, let's go talk. Guys, something is really sus, I feel like, about the mom because there's, after seeing that, you gotta call the police. But she's saying don't call the police. Why would she say that? Unless, unless she has something to do with this. Um, or maybe her love for her son is just so powerful that she would rather oof than turn her own son, Tommy, into the police. Wow, that's deep, man. This is, guys, how is this video going to end? I have a feeling it's going to get even crazier. Let's see what happens. Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. <laughs> it looked like he was sucking your spinal fluid out, like a mosquito or something. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. We got to get out of here. Well, now it's more clear than ever that this lady needs our help. We definitely need to stay here one more night. Bro, come on! We're staying. We don't have a choice. Okay. 
Okay, Candace, so uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I really just don't want him to come in here again tonight. I mean, I don't know what to do here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. They won't understand them. <laughs> okay, uh, well listen. How about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again? There's no way he's going to be able to get through this. Okay. Okay, so we're all set now. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. Okay, I just really love him. I just want him to be okay. <laughs> I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you, too. Man, that's really sad. You could tell she cares about her son, Tommy. But it sounds like their plan is to barricade the door so he can't get in. Let's see what happens on night number two. Okay, try to get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Good night. Bro, you can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? Alright, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, but what are the other options? We can leave! Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. Alright, but the second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to bed. Okay, whatever. Okay, night two. Okay, it's midnight. Lit. This was around the time he started sneaking out. Yup, the door is barricaded. She should be safe. He's awake. Tommy? Oh, he's putting on his mask. <sighs> oh no. It's 1.30, this is when he got up last time. He can't get in there, right? No, it's barricaded. Oh, he's tall! What is he doing? It's like Slender Man. Oh, he's dancing? No. Oh, oh, he sat back down. It's two. What do you do, a dance break? Hey, yo? <laughs> Adam does that sometimes. Huh? What was that? He took out the camera! And now it's 3 a.m. It's 3.0333. Right there. You called it. He took out the camera at 3 a.m. That's the most cursed time. That's when Jesse.exe is most likely to be summoned. <laughs> what is that sound? Tommy laughing? Oh, he is! Ew! Wait a minute, what's he doing? He's so tall. Oh, he can't get in. It's locked. It's locked. She's safe. Huh? Hey, oh! No! 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 Yo, we got. Dude, something's breaking. What? Something's breaking, bro. What? He's like a dinosaur. What, what do you think happened, bro? bro? Do you hear that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Huh? What is this? Help her! <laughs> oh! Ew! Hey, That's yo! So scary! Here's Justin! <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> How big is this house? Hurry! Take her. We need to find her, bro. Let's go. We gotta call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. Yo, he grabbed Tommy grabbed Candace, his mom, 
and ran out the window. Now, wait a minute. Earlier, she said he came back in through his window, too, when he disappeared that one time. So he's got something to do with windows. Guys, that was terrifying. What is going on? We drove home and contacted Candace's sister on Facebook. That's the mom. They contacted the mom's sister on Facebook. We told her Tommy took his mom and we could not find them. They couldn't find them? She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. No way. Wait a minute. So the, the mom, that's Candace, her sister said that Candace said her son died a year ago. Wait, she also said her husband died a year ago. Is Candace like lying? Like, is she behind all of this? Is Tommy the daddy? Oh, I don't know, guys. But all I know is Candace is lying. She was like, oh, no, I don't have a son. He died a year ago when she actually did. I'm doing a thinking dance and... Eureka! <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> I think Candace lied. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> the end! <laughs> wow! We received an email from an 18-year-old girl named Leah who thinks there's something horribly wrong with her sister. Leah says that one night, her sister came home late and said she was in an accident and her face was covered in bandages. Ever since then, her sister has not been acting the same. Leah says that her sister goes out into the woods for hours every night and when Leah asks her sister what she was doing, she just stares at her and smiles. She sent us this video for proof. That's Whoa. her sister? Oh, that's her sister coming home from the woods. <gasps> she, uh, caught, she caught her in 4K, dude. Oh, no. She caught her in 4K. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh! Hey, yo, hey, yo! She told us that she feels unsafe being alone with her sister right now. So tonight, we're going to head out to their house to see what's going on. Let's go. Okay. Bro, I have to say, this girl's gotta be pretty messed up if her own sister's afraid of her. Dude, you don't know what kind of accident that her sister got in. Wait a minute, guys. So basically the story is like there's a girl and her sister got in an accident, came home, and now she's covered in bandages and goes to the woods and is super creepy. But yeah, that's true. What happened at the accident, bro? Was it a normal accident or was it like a cursed 3 a.m. summoning accident? Oh, we don't know. We're gonna learn secrets about the sister. I think we should be more sensitive until we know more about this. Dude, you saw the video she sent us. There's something wrong with that bro, girl. let's just go to their house, okay? And try to sit down and talk to both of them. Okay, fine. So this is like a documentary film. They're driving to Leah's house. Skirt! In the Tesla! In the Tesla Rari! Oh, wait, it's up here. It's up here. Okay, I see it. Dude, this place is creepy. It's oh. surrounded by woods. Let's just go on. Are you gonna be calm? Let's let's see what's going on in there. Okay, we're just gonna talk. Sus. Okay, here's the door right here. Oh. <gasps> okay, they're there at the house of this of the girl. Hi. Hi. Leah. Hi, Parker. Uh, can we come in to talk about your sister? Maybe right now is not a good time. My sister is still recovering. I mean, Leo, we just drove like three hours to come see you. If you don't feel safe in your house, then we need to come in and talk. You gotta be really quiet though. Guys, she looks really spooked. She looks really, really scared. Guys, let us know in the comments if you wanna see me and Adam try making videos like this ghost hunting, bro. Imagine, knock, knock, and, and open the door, it's just this. <laughs> we'll bring Ghosty with us. Yeah, guys, imagine, imagine, bro. Okay, let's go. Okay, Leah, thank you for letting us sit down to talk to you. So, can you tell us what's going on with your sister? Listen, you need to be really quiet. She told me not to have anyone over here. Why doesn't she want you having anyone over? I think she's embarrassed about her face. Uh, so have you tried talking Listen, to her? I don't feel safe staying with her. What do you mean you don't feel safe with her? 
She's your sister. Ah! Ah! Hey, yo, that actually scared me, bro. Her sister just came home. Okay, okay, okay. Look at how scared she is, man. Looks a little bit like <laughs> Guys, listen. Listen, this is so sus, bro. Okay, well, okay. Hopefully her sister's doing okay. She's recovering from the accident. Let's let's see. Let's meet her. Uh Gail, right? It's, it's nice to meet you. Uh, do you wanna like sit down and talk with us? I guess not. No. See ya. Okay. Dude, what's wrong with her? Do you think she heard me? Oh, I, I don't know. Why are you guys freaking out? Uh, can you tell us more about the accident that she was in? She got in a car crash last week, and she sent me this. Oh, it's a video? What is it? Show me something. What is it? Okay, it says, me accident, be home soon. Head hurt bad. And then Leah said, are you okay? Answer your phone, but why is she typing like that? Mm. It's like she could barely even like uh, type in English. Well, it's because she just got in an accident. I guess it'd be pretty hard to type. Yeah, definitely. What? Uh, Leah, did you pick her up from the hospital like that? No, she walked in the front door like that. Bro. Uh, Leah, can you excuse us for a minute? What? You just need to talk. You want to talk to me. What? Dude, I don't think that's her sister. Dude, what are you talking about? That text did not seem normal, and she's covering her face. How do we even know that's her? <sighs> Dude, you're acting kind of prejudiced right now. All we know is that this girl was in an accident, what, like last week? Of course she's going to be acting weird. I'm just worried that the accident affected her mentally. Wait a minute, dude. That's actually a really good point. I didn't even think about that. What if the girl got in an accident and, like, the person who got in an accident with her actually, like, took her and she came home instead, bro? Like, it's a different human. Oh, and you can't even tell because she has all those bandages on. Yeah, exactly, bro. It could be someone in disguise. Of course she's going to be acting weird. I'm just worried that the accident affected her mentally. And that's what we got to be worried about. Not whatever this is. Dude, why did her face look like that? It was messed Bro, up. listen, I don't want to hear any more of this. I know if I were in an accident like that, I would just want people treating me normally, not like a freak. Okay, let's just sit back down. It's a good point. Uh, Leah, so I think we might want to go and, and try to talk to your sister. Can you show us where her room is or just tell us where it is? It's down a hole over there. Okay, yeah, let's go. We're, we're done. Getting sus. Okay, they're gonna talk to her. Let's knock on Gail's door. You ready? Yeah. Hello? Gail? Gail? Uh, yeah, it's her name, Gail. Huh? Hi. Gail, sorry to just open the door like that, but I knocked. Uh, how are you feeling? What's she doing? I know it was uh, probably difficult for you to uh, get hurt like that and feel alone after, but you gotta let us help you. What's she doing? Is that her jaw cracking? So we were actually talking to Leah and she was suggesting that she might not want to stay here tonight. Do you think that would be better? <gasps> okay, sorry. I uh, wasn't trying to upset you. Okay, let's go. Whoa, she got really angry when they said that her sister didn't want to stay there. So she wants Gail, the person in the bandages, wants her sister Leah to stay in the house. We got to find out why, okay? Bro, just by talking to her there, she clearly went through something awful. True. What do you mean? All right, well, at this point, it's getting pretty late. Uh, it looks like we need to spend the night here. Dude, I'm not spending the night unless we set up cameras. We got to see what the hell is going on in this place. All right, whatever. Let's do it. Let's set the cameras. Oh, spy cameras. Good. Come on. Oh, that's a good hiding spot. Okay, let's just put a camera in Leah's room. Come in. Come in. 
Hi, uh, Leah, can we just place a camera in your room really quickly? That's fine. She looks really scared. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, Leah. I didn't really know the extent of the situation before I got here. I really don't even think you need a camera for this, but we're just gonna put the camera in here to make you feel safe. We put cameras all around the house as well. I talked to your sister and honestly, I just gotta say, I, I just feel like she's going through a lot right now. I don't feel safe right now. Huh? Can you stay in my room tonight? I mean, Leah, it's just your sister. I don't know like, what's with you guys treating her like she's a freak. I think you're gonna be fine, okay? Just try to rest. All right, let's go. Man, she looks really spooked, guys. That's really sad. It would be so bad to be afraid of your own sister. That would like be me being That would like that would like me that would like if I was I'm afraid like, of you. Yeah, 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 don't go. Just try to go to sleep, okay? Please don't leave Bro, me. I don't know what's going on in this house. We get ready to go to sleep. But Chester hears something from Gail's room. That's the evil sister. Guys, I'm in the hall right now. I think I hear something in Gail's room. Hey, yo. What? Hey, yo. Wait, what are we looking at? Her feet? That's the carpet, I think, yeah. Oh, that's her feet. <gasps> oh! Oh, uh, who hello? Who is that? Who are you talking to? Now I'm... Dude, what are you doing? Why are you bothering her? Dude, there was someone in there with her. Why, are you, why do you keep bothering her? Why can't we just go to sleep? There's someone else in there. Okay, let's just go to sleep, man. Come on. I, I, this is ridiculous. Whatever. There was another person in the room? I didn't even see it. What What do you think happened? Okay, it was either the person that hit her with the car, like you said, uh, the person that made her get in a car accident, or Justin.exe. It's one of the two people were in that room. I just uh, don't know. There's a third option. Oh? She might have had a baby. <laughs> what? That's an option? You didn't think about that? Who's the dad? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Dude, how are you not freaked out by Gail? Bro, why do you not lay off this girl? Just because her face is different doesn't mean she's different on the inside. Dude, you know she's up to something. Why else was she in the woods? Why are you treating this girl like a freak? Dude, there's just something about her that I, I don't trust at all. Okay, can we just try to go to sleep? Whatever, dude. We go to sleep. Let's see the cameras. So one of them is really scared of the sister and the other one's not. That looked like me and Ada where we used to share a bunk bed. Yep, it's lit. <laughs> okay, that's the sister's room. Yeah. Good thing they got these cameras up, because something sus about to go down. Oh! Oh, Gail is just sitting there. Oh, hey, Gail. Yo, she just opened her. What is she? Adam does that sometimes. Mm hmm. When he wants milk. Mama, milky. He does that. <laughs> oh, was that a fly? She gonna eat the fly? Hey! Oh, she, she, did ooh, she get it? She caught the fly. Don't eat that. Don't <gasps> Ew! Eat that. Ew! Oh, no. Okay, guys, we thought. She was just injured, but something's clearly wrong. Hey, yo. <laughs> She's going nuts, bro. What is that? What is that? What is that? Wait, what? Oh, it's scissors. She's cutting off the bandages? Oh, we get to see her face. That's cool. Is that good or bad? Good. Oh, she cut off the bandages, okay. Okay, now we get to see what she looks Wait, like. Wait, and then she put it back on. Oh, she's taking it off. Cool. Guys, this is so sus. Uh Hello? Ah. Okay, they're still sleeping. <laughs> me, 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 me. Guys, oh, it's approaching, it's approaching 3 a.m. The cursed hour, the sus hour. Oh, she's putting more on. She, so she cut off the old ones and put on new ones. Oh, hey, yo. That's good, she's staying clean. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, guys, change your bandages if you have them. Okay. Gail. Oh, she's going to her sister's room. No, no, Gail, no, no. What are you no. doing? At 3 a.m.? Oh, it's 3 a.m., of course. Gail. This is bad. She's in her sister Leah's room. What is she going to do? Maybe just, I don't know, give her a hug? Tuck her in? Oh, no. Oh. That's not a hug. Hey, yo, that's not a hug. What's going on? She, she eating the hair. Oh. Oh. Hey, yo. 
She tried to eat her hair. Dude, wake up. Oh, so what? 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 Yes. Let's go. What you going for, bro? I don't know. Dude, oh. What's the problem? She's here. She's here. Please come. What's going on? She was watching me. Where? Where is she? Look in the closet. Oh, jump no scare. way. Jump scare. No. There's nothing in here. Listen, Leah, I think you're just having a nightmare or something. No. Your sister's not a monster, okay? She's just going through a tough time right dude, now. Dude, dude, they can just check the cameras and see they try to eat her hair, bro. And now they're like, don't don't be all, you know, over dramatic. It's nothing. She, her sister just tried to eat her head. I, cool. I, it's okay for her to be scared. Yeah. Alright, dude, let's just go. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. She's obviously not okay. Oh! She, oh! she was hiding behind the door. <laughs> Can we rewatch that? I do that to Adam all the time. We play hide and seek. This is such a good hiding spot. Yeah. Always gets me. Oh! Uh, do you hear that? She's screaming again. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Let's go. Save her! Open the door! Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> what is she? Uh, guys, rewind that, guys. We're going to loop that. It looks like she was, like, taking out the soul of her sister. Oh, like a Dementor Did or something. Did you see that? Did you see that, bro? Look. All right, let's just go back to sleep. I think she's in the or something. Okay, well, when they check the cameras tomorrow, they're going to feel like dummies. <laughs> we, we go back to sleep. Why did you even come? Well, they set up cameras. They'll see them tomorrow. Hey, yo, she's still there. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, And they're goodness. passed out. Oh, my goodness. Hey, yo. What is she doing? Is she dancing? No. No. Oh, oh, she possessed her. She possessed her. Okay. Now they're both possessed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're going to oof them. Get them. They're going to oof them. Oh, my goodness. Are they going to the woods? I think they're going into their room. Oh my goodness. Oh, they are, yeah, you're they're right. Going to the woods. Hey yo, who's that? Oh, hey, yo. That hey yo, who's that? It's like a little colony out there in the woods. And now the sister's part of that. Ah! Oh my goodness, guys. So my theory right now is the sister got in an accident with like a cursed forest dweller and the forest person mm -hmm. makes her find more people to take into the forest and that's a justin theory that's just a justy theory uh-huh now it's 603 a.m if you subtract three from six it's 3 a.m so we just woke up it's about 6 a.m uh we gotta go check on leah and review the footage from last night so uh let's go these guys are trolling <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro. Oh, yo. Uh, where is she? Dude, check the closet. Why would she be in the closet? Uh oh. Where do you think she went? I don't know. I think I gotta check downstairs. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, check downstairs. I'll check up. Check the cameras. <sighs> check the cameras. Gals are on. Uh oh. She's missing. There's no one here either. Dude, come down here. What? Bro. The back door's wide open. I <gasps> think they left through there. I, I don't know where she went. Uh, let, let's check the uh, security footage. Okay. okay. Oh, you think? Smart. Now they check it. Now they check it. Okay, let's sit down and check out this night cam footage, dude. They're about to be blown away. Okay, so going through this, I don't... See anything interesting? Uh, wait, wait, go back to the hallway, dude. Where's she taking her, dude? I don't know. Something's wrong with Leah, bro. Look at her face. Hallway. Oh, Let me check the camera outside, bro. Where are they going, dude? I don't know. Looks like they're going in the woods. Why are they going in the woods? I don't know. Why are you yelling? Oh, dude, I told you, Gail did something to her. Gail did something to Leah. Know. 
Bro, uh, dude, she did not go willingly into the woods in the middle of the night. Let's just go home and try to figure this out. Uh, then there's not much we can do right uh, now. Unless you want to go in the woods and look for her. I feel like this guy's possessed. I feel like he's already in cahoots with them, man. Why is he like this, bro? He's like, oh, there's nothing we can do. Let's just go home. Well, let's just. Oh, I got an idea. Let's give up. What? Let's go what? Home. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's what Adam <laughs> would do. That's what Adam would do in this situation. Okay, guys, never give up. He literally is just like, let's just go home. Let's call it a day. All right, let's, let's go home then. They just gave up? Why'd they even go? Why'd they even visit her? We went home and tried for days to get in contact with Leah. What, by texting her? Her parents, friends, and neighbors haven't heard from her or Gail. They're Duh, missing. They're you missing. guys know where they went. They went in the forest. We don't think that was her sister. Wow, you think, bro? You, you think, bro? Yo! Justin called it. Guys, so that's the end. Now, Adam has a crazy theory. That's just the Adam theory. Tell everyone what you think happened, bro. I think what happened is that her sister that was wearing the bandages was actually some type of evil demon creature that was from the forest. Her actual sister is oofed and probably in a graveyard by now. Oh my goodness. So you think in the accident, the sister is already gone and it's just a new like evil entity? Yep, I think so. And guys, I think they went to the forest because in the forest, that's where everything sus goes on. <laughs> Well said. Yes. That's true. Yes. That's true. That's. I think that's the sussy summoning circle in the forest, guys. Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to say right now. Sussy summoning circle. You better watch out. That's a triple S right there. <laughs> that's a triple Yes, it is. It's a triple S right there. And a be quiet. Sussy a summoning sussy summoning, summoning circle, circle is, is what you use to summon. <laughs> yeah, the evil twist. Sussy. <laughs>